guys, Hayley, and my channel is all about dreadlocks and my dread journey. My dreads are two years, three months old, and they are real dreads extended with human hair extensions. Today, I'm going to be talking about dreadlock timestamps. I'm going to explain what they are, I will show you mine, and then also some things to think about when you're attaching your own. So dreadlock timestamps are pieces of jewellery that you sew into your dreadlock to indicate each year you've had your dread. And this way you can see how long they've grown. And so to show you mine, this charm right here, which is now at the bottom of my dreadlock, was I sewed this to the top of my first dreadlock when I first got them done. Now my dread has actually snapped off to this charm um, so this is actually all extension so I don't actually even have my natural dreadlock <laughs> that I first started off with but I have the um, I have the tip of it anyway so this charm has been in my hair for two and a, two years and three months and it has grown down to the bottom so this literally is how much my hair has grown these timestamps sort of trip me out a bit because I find it very hard to believe that that's how much my hair has grown in two years um, but that is how it is because this charm was up the top and then so on my one year I sewed this charm to the top of my dread so within one year it grew that much <laughs> and then for my two years I sewed this charm up to the top so within two years well within one year this is how much it grew within two years this is how much it grew and this is three months so um, yeah I don't know how accurate these are because this is tripping me out a little bit to explain this and how much it has grown but it actually must be like that because this charm has been in there for for two years and three months <laughs> and so um, the way that I sewed these in was literally just with normal string. So I get asked this question a lot about my timestamps and it's just normal string like that you would use to sew clothes. Um, the only thing I would say to watch out for is if you're going to change the colour of your hair. So when I first got my dreadlocks, um, I had ombre hair. So I had dark brown and, and it went into blonde. Um, so I made this initial dread, I made it black string because it was in brown, it was in brown, dark brown hair. So now you, I've wrapped extension hair around this many times and it just keeps coming through the black string. So just keep in mind what type of string that you um, use to sew it in what color I mean and then when you're actually sewing it in so these are um, charms for necklaces so they all have this little loop that a chain would normally go through um, so see that loop um, see this loop so they're all um, necklace charms and what you do is just stick a normal sew, sewing needle through the loop of the charm and directly through the middle of the dreadlock and then bring it around and do the exact same thing. So you don't want to be um, putting the, so say if this is the dreadlock, you put the string through the loop of the charm and then through the middle of the dreadlock and then bring the string back around. Through the middle of the dreadlock, bring the string back around. Try to get it in different parts of the dreadlock, um, but don't be putting it through and then putting it through that way. Again, I don't think that would work very well. So just put it through there, bring it around, put it through there. And I literally sewed mine so many times because I didn't want them to come out. So, um, so many times would probably mean at least 10 times going through, maybe even 20. Just see how you go when you're putting it in, um, but heaps of times and try to get it all through and make sure it's going through the actual loop of the charm each time so that the charm is held on really well. And this way, when a piece of string, when one loop does break, 
it's still held on and another one can break and another one can break and it's still always held on. So those are my timestamps. Um, I love them a lot and I'm really, really happy that I did this. Um, and yes, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I also document my whole dread journey on my Instagram. So you can follow me there. I will link that below. Thanks so much and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.